Welcome to Season 4 of E-Commerce Fastlane. This podcast helps resilient entrepreneurs thrive with Shopify. And now, on to Episode 134. You're listening to E-Commerce Fastlane, the podcast show to help you build, manage, grow, and scale a successful and thriving company powered by Shopify. Listen to real conversations with partners and subject matter experts as they share proven practical strategies, platforms, and the best Shopify apps to help you accelerate your business. The time is now for you to improve efficiencies, grow revenue, profit, and lifetime customer loyalty. Please welcome your host, startup founder and strategic advisor, Steve Hutt. This episode is brought to you by LimeSpot, the leading AI product recommendation software solution for high growth brands. Their all-in-one platform helps you acquire and convert customers by creating targeted experiences on and off-site. Brands that use LimeSpot see an average increase in revenue of 20 to 28%. It's very compelling. They're able to showcase highly relevant products and deliver higher conversions than competitors by leveraging the largest independent AI data set of over 100 billion signals, combining product data, consumer behavior, and trend analysis. The result is deeper engagement, higher average order value, increased revenue, and strong return on ad spend. LimeSpot uses that data to create a customized on-site experience for each shopper throughout their journey. From landing or homepage, through product pages, cart experience, and post-purchase, using recommendations targeted to each customer based on product information, shopper information, and intent. In addition, the platform allows you to layer on targeted experiences based on sophisticated segmentation, giving you the power to personalize emails, collections, upsells, and more based on purchase history, behavior on the website, and customer insight. And that's not all. LimeSpot's newest offering is a very unique Google Shopping solution, the first of its kind in the market. The solution uses AI to enrich the attributes shared with Google, pre-validates and automates your feed and passes through product and audience targeting information from your website. The result is higher discoverability and an average improvement in return on ad spend of 10 to 26X. Absolutely amazing. From Google Shopping to personalized product recommendations and emails and on-site, LimeSpot ensures every customer has a unique and customized experience. Smart brands truly understand that creating a personalized experience is critical to driving both sales and lifetime value. Get started with LimeSpot today and turn shoppers into buyers. You can check them out at LimeSpot.com. Well, hey there, it's Steve, and welcome back to the e-commerce fast lane podcast. Now, if this is your first time listening, this is an e-commerce show where we have honest and transparent conversations about building and thriving with your store powered by Shopify or Shopify Plus. New episodes are available twice weekly with your favorite podcast players like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, and Spotify, and many more. Wherever you listen to your podcasts, I'm sure it'll sync over and just search for e-commerce fast lane. You can also uh, stream current episodes, including a very relevant back catalog, uh, directly at ecommercefastlane.com. In today's episode, my guest is Paulina, the marketer from GrowWave, and they're an all-in-one marketing platform for Shopify brands that help them reach, engage, and convert their customers. This is a great conversation. There's tons of learnings, and also make sure you listen to the end of the episode because there is an exclusive listener-only bonus uh, that goes along with this episode and their solution. So hi, Paulina. Welcome to e-commerce Fastlane. Hi, Steve. So I mentioned a tiny bit at the top of the show and GrowWave is a very interesting solution to me. And that's the reason why I'm having you on the episode today is because you do quite a bit versus maybe having separate apps doing certain particular marketing tasks. And I I do app audits quite a bit with the brands that I manage. And one of the things I've noticed is I try to figure out a way of how I can reduce the amount of apps that a brand has, you know, over time has just kept adding on because they're solving one particular problem where I believe that GrowWave has a different methodology around it and has a, a full depth of different marketing solutions that are all kind of bundled together for people on Shopify 
Shopify core plans, but then also uh, there's some advanced connections for those that are on Shopify Plus. So let's talk first on a high level about the GrowWave product and I guess the kind of problems that you're solving for Shopify store owners. Yeah, well, Steve, actually, GrowWave is an all-in-one marketing platform for Shopify stores, and it actually includes several features in one app, such as social logging, loyalty and rewards, reviews, Instagram wishlist, and actually many more. GrowWave actually helps to replace four to six different apps and saves a ton of money for Shopify store owners. Uh, you don't have to spend time and money watching and searching and all that kind of stuff and looking for separate apps for your store, whether it's wishlist or reviews app or social login app. GrowWave is basically all in one. You just download one app and that's it. You can choose uh, whichever features to use. Just set it, install it, and you're ready to go, basically. And uh, actually, the app is super easy to use, and it provides an outstanding customer support. Our customer support is known to be quite responsive and efficient. Also, customer support is crucial for Shopify apps, as they often deal with not experienced Shopify entrepreneurs. And this is why our team is always there to help your business grow. Yeah, and that's perfect. You know, and that's one thing that I love about the solution is that you're right. There is a, a lot of pieces of the Grow Wave puzzle. We actually go to the website and I'll, we'll give a lot of these details in the show notes. But when you go to growwave.io and you have a look to see at some of the products, you're right. Loyalty and rewards is there. I mean, that's a super important strategy. Um, if you don't have a loyalty program, then this is a great opportunity to be able to get a solution like that or wish lists or how to do reviews. I mean, we know that user generated content content and just kind of the social proof of having reviews is super important for a conversion rate and you know social login once again make it easy for your site visitor when they want to check out it's great to be able to connect one of the social channels to be able to log in and have authenticate who they are as it works uh, into Shopify though so just less friction easier to check out and more revenue for you and then happy customer right so that's really cool features and there's a lot more so let's talk about the founder's journey it's, it's always interesting to me why people build what they build. And, and I think what's happened with Grow Wave, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like you were solving a couple problems, but then over time getting feedback from customers that we started adding on to the solution and saying, hey, you know what? There's lots of things that a brand needs to do. A lot of them Shopify doesn't do natively. Like Shopify does 80% of commerce very well. It's that extra 20% that typically has to be filled in, you know, with some kind of an app or a marketing platform or analytics, business intelligence. There's always something that you need to add on. That's why when I look in the admins of a lot of stores, there's 10, 15, 20 different apps that they're running. And so... You're not a founder, but you know them well and you've been with the brand quite a while. So I'd love to hear from your voice about why they built this product and then the desire, I guess, and the expertise to want to create it. Well, Steve, it's actually quite an interesting story. Rue was founded in 2014 by Eldar, Ermek, and Munara uh, Galiyevs in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. But actually, the story of Rue starts much early back in 2009. First, the team launched a Think Lab. It was an IT company that was developing solutions for small businesses. The company was actually focusing on a very small niche, and uh, the team decided to create something unique because they wanted to develop something that was never done before. And so it can be helpful for not only merchants or Shopify users, but also show young entrepreneurs that you can start an international company in Kyrgyzstan. Then the team decided to develop something unique and uh, get a lot of feedback. And it took a lot of market research to develop GrowWave. And at first, uh, when the app was launched, it was on a free version. So to improve the app, uh, we were actually gathering a lot of information from our users, from our merchants, and actually improving the app all the time until it was uh, really, let's say, polished and was ready to set in the market and go and so we could charge uh, for it actually. Uh, it actually started uh, closer to 2017 when uh, the app started to pick up. And then actually our team grew from five creative minds to nearly 60 full-time employees within these years, so which is quite impressive. 
No, it's good. And that's the, that's the whole idea. You have these full-time employees because you keep iterating on the platform, getting feedback, improving it, and proofs in the pudding. I mean, there's like more than, from what I understand, more than 12,000 people using it. And when I actually go to the Shopify app store and have a look, I mean, I think as of today's recording, there's you know, almost 1,300 uh, reviews and most of them are five star reviews. So it's very clear, uh, that, you know, people are seeing a lot of value, um, out of the solution that you offer. Cause, you know, most people don't leave reviews and you got 12,000 customers and, you know, the 1300 are living five star reviews. That's a pretty impressive, uh, percentage of uh, people living those reviews. So that's good on you, good on the team. So let's talk about some of the, I guess, some of the individual features that are inside GrowWave and from your perspective, like, and you can see product adoption, like, you know, what features people are using more or less of, you have a lot available as part of the app, but what do you think are some of the, the core kind of benefits for GrowWave users uh, and Shopify brand owners? Well, um, that's a good question. Actually, you can gain a lot of customers by introducing loyalty programs by GrowWave. We've seen in some companies over 50% growth rate in uh, repeat purchases and uh, loyal customers from using just uh, GrooveWave loyalty or referral programs. Also, you can improve your cart abandonment rates with uh, our wishlist feature and automated email reminders. Actually, a lot of our customers prefer to use this feature as uh, it's very nicely designed compared to some of other apps. And automated emails help to send nudges to the customers and basically urge sales. Also, Gravave can help increase repeat sales with giving rewards for leaving a review. Uh, a lot of our customers love these features because uh, they can get a lot of reviews. It's quite an automated process because they don't need to send manually anything. Everything is done on our site and you just enjoy using GrowWave and get hundreds and thousands of reviews. There are many benefits of using GrowWave that we could spend hours discussing on how great it is. But uh, most important, you can save a ton of money, which is uh, quite necessary at these times. And also it's quite cheaper than some of the alternatives in the market. And uh, finally, it has better functionality too. No, and I noticed that again, you know, once again, as I mentioned at the top of the show, you know, when you start looking at the power of GrowWave and all the different parts of the app, you don't necessarily have to use all of the features all the time. There's certain ones you could dabble in. You're right. You could just use the loyalty part of it. You could use just the reviews part of it. So you have some opportunity to grow. And I think that's one of the interesting things about this solution is that, you know, maybe having a, a doing a quick app audit and saying, okay, why am I choosing these certain apps and are they offering value? The answer is probably yes. But then what happens if I was to put the grow wave app on instead? Are there ways of removing a bunch of these other apps that maybe are solving some great problems, no doubt, but they're individual apps. And there's always the question about, are these apps talking to each other? And, you know, is, is there overall marketing strategy that goes along? And I know, because I have a lot of these conversations with brands talking about, does the marketing automation platform, let's say they're using Klaviyo, does it sync up with what's going on and push notifications or cart recovery? Is Shopify doing it or is it done through Klaviyo? How does loyalty work? How do you nudge people to saying, hey, you have this many points, you haven't purchased in a while. There's so many marketing strategies and so many different things to think about. The challenge is having so many different apps um, and then having the brain power to remember how they're all somewhat synced together or not, and or some manual processes to make a lot of these things work. Um, where I think that's one of the, the benefits I think of GrowWave is that it's unified all into one. We'll talk about the connections to Shopify Plus in a little while too, because I think that's a very unique connection for those mid-market enterprise brands that really want to expand the power of GrowWave. So let's talk about some success stories. I appreciate the problem you're solving. I understand the history of you know, the founders, and I understand the benefits of all these these solutions in one. I guess from your perspective, because you must see a lot of success. I mean, 12,000 people using your solution. So are, are there any notable ones that you can talk about uh, publicly today? Well, yes, Steve. Actually, we have a lot of examples of different brands using GrowWave. And actually, let's say we have 12,000 brands using GrowWave, and I can say that all of them are success stories. You can actually learn more about it from the customer stories section on our website. We have uh, specifically designed a new section for it and we have a few blogs 
that we've done as a case studies on our successful merchants. But I will talk about a few of examples. First of all, Lily Charmed. It's a small jewelry brand from the UK. Uh, Lily Charm managed to gain over 30% customer retention rate with GrooveWave. And it's just by using our loyalty program and reviews uh, all tied up together. And the customers just love using GrooveWave. Also, our Google Shopping integration. So Lily Charm managed to pull out the reviews that were gathered to, by GrooveWave and put it into Google Shopping. So at the store was in the first lines in uh, Google searches. So this was another success for Lily Charmed to gain sales and uh, to become more recognized. Also, another brand is Unixa. It's a contact lenses brand. And it has hundreds, of, almost thousands of clients using the loyalty program that was designed by GrooveWave. Actually, it's one of the stores that use VIP tiers successfully in their system that are designed by GrooveWave as well. We worked with them quite uh, close to develop something more specific that works for the niche and the business, and uh, they've seen success in it. And lastly, another example is Plant Essentials, an Australian beauty remedy brand. They managed to generate more than 500K US dollars through GrooveWave. They actually use almost all of our features, so it basically works all together, the reviews, fish list, social logging, gathering unnecessary information to basically properly target uh, the audiences to engage with them and all of these things. And that's how our customers get success from using GrooveWave. Yeah, and I've looked at, because I saw some of our recording notes ahead of time, and I actually went to a lot of these websites. So I had a look at Lily Charmed. I'll make sure these links are all in the show notes, just so those listening today, if you want to actually see successful implementation of the GrowWave features, um, it's very interesting, like the wish list. I'm looking right now um, at Lily Charmed, so the wish list option is working. I see the review option working. I mean, it's quite slick, and I think that's a really great initiative, how they're able to use their product reviews and putting into Google Shopping. It certainly gives it a lot of extra lift. And when you get those five-star reviews as like metadata and being able to import those into Google Shopping feed, it's very successful. Same as the other one um, that I looked at, this Unix Low. And it's interesting too, uh, that's the contact lens company. Very interesting. Again, they've, they're using a lot of the great features that the GrowWave has. And same as plantessentials.com.au. I can see exactly what they're doing. So I'll, once again, I'll have all these links in the show notes so you can see what exactly it looks like. So, the next thing I want to talk about is the customers, because I know I kind of opened the kimono a bit early in the episode just saying, hey, you know, I know you have approximately 12,000 active customers that are using it. And you mentioned a few things about some of the popular features, but I just would love to maybe dig a little deeper into some specifics uh, around the, you know, the most popular features. Well, as we were mentioning before, there are over 12,000 merchants, closer to 12,000 active merchants using GrooveWave. And uh, they are from all around the world. And I would say reviews is the most common feature used by almost all of our customers. Social login is another must-have feature for any Shopify brand because, of course, you need to know information from your customers when uh, you have a Shopify store. Because actually, social login helps to save a cart. Some customer decided to add uh, some item but forgot to check out or decided to leave it for later once they log in they have the same items on in the cart which is quite convenient for some of the shoppers it's quite an uh, impressive feature and you can log in with any type of social platform you prefer amazon instagram facebook uh, gmail yahoo everything that you prefer also i would say that loyalty program wishlist and instagram are also quite popular among brands and i would like to highlight Instagram because uh, you can pull out information from hashtags and place it uh, on your galleries and on your product galleries so you can your customers can see the items that were purchased by people. Let's say it creates a social proof and also they can shop directly from Instagram galleries on your website, which is quite useful. And everything depends on your business needs, I would say. But we have a lot of stores that are using almost all of our features. GrowWave, 
you know, has 12,000 customers. And so I think just based on the size of Shopify, there's, you know, a lot of people are on the core plans or lots of people on the mid market enterprise, which is the Shopify plus side. And so from your perspective is grow wave more for small and medium sized businesses, or do you think there's more power um, for larger brands to use grow wave? Well, Steve, actually grow wave is the best tool for any Shopify brand, uh, whether it's big or small. Although we focus on small and medium sized brands at the moment, we still have a lot of clients that are large enterprises. Also, our goal is to be helpful for any business and grow with the small ones and become larger with uh, enterprises. Even though most of our customers are usually just beginners or have a certain amount of money to spend on apps a month, but we would say that uh, we are an app for everyone, every single store that wants to grow, that wants to have something unique on the store to get more loyal customers, to drive more sales. We are the best app for that. Yeah, I can see that. And I've actually went through the onboarding process. So if you're listening today and you're interested in kind of, is there opportunity here? They really do hold your hand. As I'd almost call it white, even though it's a self-serve model. Um, it feels like it's a very white glove service. Uh, live chat is on in the corner here. If I require any issues uh, or any assistance um, helping to install the app, but it really goes through step by step by step about how do you want to set up your rewards program? How would you like to set up your review? structure. Um, how do you want to set up? Now, you don't have to turn these on. You could say yes or no. Wish list option. Social logins. Um, how are you going to connect to Instagram and do the social selling through Instagram and being able to pull in different parts into your website? So it's so interesting how it allows you to go through each one of these steps. And then once it's done, once again, you can turn things on or off as needed and you can choose your layout and your placement. Um, there's even some, uh, and you select the theme that you're uh, turning this on. And then um, you're allowed some CSS, you're allowed some reskinning and locations and stuff. So for more advanced uh, people that really want to uh, personalize the customer experience with the tool, you have some full flexibility for design and locations and things. So um, it's pretty impressive. That that's how it works. So this show, Paulina, you probably know has a very diverse range of you know entrepreneurs that listen each week. I think we're almost 10,000 some people a week are listening to this uh, podcast. And because you have so many customers, I just would love to hear, you know, from what you see, you obviously communicate a lot with the brands that are using GrowWave and you mentioned three already, but I just love to hear from your vantage point, like what sort of things do you believe people should be working on uh, to help them grow and scale their business? Uh, well, to step aside from GrowWave as a Shopify expert, I would say that first of all, fast website loading time on mobile with well-crafted information structure and easy navigation on your website is the key for growth. As more people are shopping online through their smartphones, basically shopping on mobile became the leading place. And I would say it's important to focus on uh, optimizing your website for mobile. Then also micro-influencer marketing works well since the audience is the most engaged and uh, they have specific niche. So I would recommend uh, in 2021 to look into micro-influencing apps. There are quite a lot on Shopify and try for your store. And to have an instant impact, try ads on Facebook and Instagram or Google. Keep testing until you have the most optimal campaign because it takes a while to optimize it and see the best results. And finally, don't give up. Keep testing and trying different strategies, then you'll succeed. Yeah, it's definitely a mindset thing for sure. There's not necessarily a playbook for success in e-commerce. You can't just copy somebody else and what they're doing. Hey, I'm in the same shoe business as these guys over here. I can't necessarily do like, what's your unique selling proposition? I totally agree with you. You have to create a brand and some fans and followers. Part of it for sure could be using, you know, micro influencers and getting involved um, in that. I think it seems, and it is, is very authentic when you have influencers sharing and talking about your products authentically. And, you know, you can build these relationships. You're right. There's lots of great apps out there and different platforms that can kind of make some introductions happen. There's even some tools now where it actually can look at your customers and then understand the social footprint of your customers. They already bought from you. So you don't know how influential they are. They've made a purchase and now all of a sudden, hmm, well, they have quite a few Twitter followers and uh, same on Instagram. You're like, okay, 
wait a second, maybe there's opportunity here. Maybe there's ways of reaching out to these people. They just purchased from me, so they obviously like what I'm all about. Um, maybe we can automate some process to reach out to them, or maybe you can be notified. So there's certainly some tools that could um, help identify how influential a person is for making a purchase. On the flip side, you could also use some marketplace kind of initiatives where you can actually locate the type of influencer that seems to resonate with your target audience. So if you're in health and wellness and maybe you find a health and wellness coach and they seem to be uh, talking about certain products that kind of make sense for what it is that you're producing and selling then there might be ways about reaching them directly and figuring out a way in exchange for product it could be a revenue share there's so many opportunities and i think it's super exciting so i'm very bullish <laughs> on using influencers for sure so what does the future look like for grow wave you know are you able to share your north stars for 21 and beyond like is there more partner alignment or are we going to innovate with the app at all. Just end of the day, it would be nice to share with the audience about here's what you currently do. And are we expanding, you know, the range of what the products can do, uh, or the functionality of it? Just want to understand how you're going to continue, I guess, to assist Shopify brands. Well, first of all, our main goal for 2021 is to become the ultimate marketing platform for small and medium sized Shopify businesses, but also of course, we are planning to expand and uh, hopefully become a certified Shopify Plus app in 2021 as well. Alongside with that, we aim to constantly improve our app to make it the best in the market. Also, we want to innovate and add new features to help Shopify businesses grow. We are actually coming with a big new updates every few months to help our merchants and uh, we always take a lot of feedback from our merchants and also we are not only getting the, this feedback from our merchants but also we do a market research we see what kind of uh, features are needed right now for Shopify brands so we always take it uh, in mind and we work around that we are always working towards new partnerships and integrations with Shopify apps and themes in 2021, we hope to extend our integration list with a few more apps. Uh, we are actually currently working with uh, uh, a few popular apps and uh, a few theme integrations. What's interesting too, you know, I want to talk about the integration side of it uh, before we wrap up for today. But for those that are on Shopify Plus that are listening today, um, there really is some advanced marketing perks, I would call it, or just to allow a Plus store to scale more. I mean, there are benefits of Shopify Plus and some of the things that I see are, you know, accessing and managing uh, your data to the platform through API access. So that's interesting that for those that want to build custom products uh, using the GrowWave solution, on a plus side of it so using you know turning on the enterprise part of grow wave having api access i think is fantastic i'm particularly interested in how shopify flow is connected because shopify flow is our take on automation and it really helps repetitive tasks and things so it's interesting that you're allowing flow to work which is usually a trigger some kind of a condition and then an action and so usually through web hooks it could be through api but it's great that flow is connected now on the plus side to grow wave to trigger something based on some kind of condition that happens so it's really great that we're able to automate a lot of the um, things from within the store and within the apps and last thing that i think is fantastic too on the plus side side is the Clavio integration. So now what I love about it is the fact that you can literally drive more sales um, with targeted emails that are generated by Grow. So Grow is making a decision to maybe trigger something because it's connected to Clavio. Clavio is your source of truth for outbound emails. And you can see the campaigns, the engagement, the clicks, the open rates. You can see a lot of things with Clavio's analytics thanks to grow wave connection. So I think that's kind of the high levels or anything else that you may want to add about the Shopify plus connection. Well, yes, we are actually uh, talking to a few of our app partners and uh, our team is currently working on our Shopify plus certification. So in upcoming months, we should have some news, but uh, our team is actually uh, planning on uh, expanding and uh, adding some more features to Shopify Plus stores and uh, of course our main goal is to be as helpful as we can to other all of Shopify users uh, and Shopify Plus stores. So how can people learn more about GrowWave, uh, some of your case studies um, and then get access to the app? 
Well, to learn more about GrowWave, you can just visit our website, growwave.io, or any of our social media pages. And also, you can learn more on our Shopify App Store page. Just go on Shopify App Store, type in GrowWave, and you can find it there. Perfect. And it's G-R-O-W-A-V-E. So it's easy to search for in the App Store. I know we did speak offline before recording today, and I understand that you would like to share an offer for those listening today. Yes, Steve, uh, we are actually offering an extended 60-day free trial for those who are listening to us today. And uh, this is really no stress, no hustle offer. There's nothing behind it, uh, no any trick. Actually, you can just go on and download it, install it and start using. You can choose whatever you can use. And we are not going to charge you at all for 60 days. You can enjoy GrowWave for free for 60 days. One thing I love about this too is, is just the fact that it's a no-brainer. Like, you know, if you are currently using any different type of solution out there, like separate apps that do a lot of things that this product does, like loyalty and rewards or wish lists or reviews or social logins. And, you know, there's quite a few things that this tool can do. Um, if, if, if you have dedicated apps doing that sort of thing right now or not, uh, at least for 60 days, you can actually try GrowWave out and see if it makes a measurable impact or better customer experience. I mean, you can do a post-purchase a survey just to find out i mean when people do buy from you you can ask the question how'd you hear about us and is there anything that we can do to improve our store just getting direct feedback i think you'll know that the grow wave solution is very unique um, and has access to a lot of great uh, functionality and having you know two months to actually try it out you, you know for free you'll know for sure uh, if this is right for you one thing that link will be available because it is a custom link uh, just for li those listening today so it'll be ecommercefastlane.com forward slash grow wave um, it'll be in the show notes that'll redirect the landing page so you can take uh, Paulina up and the grow wave team up on this offer once again I just wanted to thank you for you know coming on the show today and you know it's it's very clear to me anyways listening to this episode that Shopify is on a mission really to make commerce better for everyone and it's very clear that you know that you both you and the grow wave team are also in tight alignment but really wanting to help Shopify brands you got like a lot of features so you're really helping people improve efficiencies definitely helping people grow revenue and the elusive kind of building lifetime customer loyalty so great on you thank you for coming on the episode today thanks for sharing your knowledge and giving back uh, to the shopify ecosystem and good luck on getting that plus certification i think that's going to be another uh, feather in your cap um, just showing the power of your platform yeah thanks steve thank you for having me on the show today it was really a pleasure and i hope uh our listeners can get a lot of valuable information from today's episode. All right, well, have yourself a great day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Today's episode was brought to you by LimeSpot, the leading personalization platform for high growth brands on Shopify. LimeSpot increases your conversions and decreases your acquisition costs by using AI to understand your catalog and your consumers. The result is deeper engagement, higher average order value, increased revenue, and strong return on ad spend. You don't have to take my word for it. Trust the Shopify Plus certification. They have over 1,400 five-star reviews on the Shopify App Store and thousands of satisfied merchants. You can learn more about their incredible solution and get started today at LimeSpot.com. Well, that's it for today's episode. I'd like to thank you personally for being a loyal listener of e-commerce Fastlane. It's my hope that this podcast is offering you a ton of value through growth strategies, tactics, and exclusive insider tips on the best Shopify apps and marketing platforms, all with my personal goal to help you build, manage, grow, and scale a successful and thriving company powered by Shopify. Thanks for investing some time today and listening to the show. I'm so proud and excited that you have a growth mindset and are a constant learner. I truly appreciate you and your entrepreneurial journey. Enjoy the rest of the week and keep thriving with Shopify.